Would you rather be attacked by a zombie, vampire, or werewolf? Zombie. Easy. Oh, yeah. Well, assuming it's assuming two things, assuming it's one and not a horde, mm -hmm. and assuming that they are traditional zombies, which are usually slower and don't have any uh, like uh, sen sentience or consciousness. Yeah. Um, I don't know about World War Z ones where they're like kind of super, yeah. supercharged. But vampires, you don't want to fuck with I mean, a vampire. I mean, I feel like that is the best interpretation of zombies in a way. Yeah? I I mean, name another one that's better. I mean, I think the reason you're saying it's best is just because it's novel, so it stands out, maybe. Well, no, I'm saying it's best because, like, it's the most dangerous. Sure. And, yeah. like, I feel like with these kinds of, like, monster movies... Right. The more dangerous the villain or the antagonist or the monster right. is, the scarier it's going to be. Like you with Godzilla movies, you always get the shot where it's like a little girl looking up at this giant creature and oh my god, it's so big and it's bigger than the skyscrapers. And like you get that shot of like that pan and you move with it of like holy shit, we're fucked. And like that's I feel like it is the heart of a monster movie. And like, is, <laughs> yes, the heart of monster movies is being scary. Correct. Well, yes. Like, and, the, like and, the heart of the monster movie is like, we're fucked. Yeah. 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 There's no, yeah. You don't want to be like, oh, the monster, this is going to be no problem. Don't worry. We're, we're going to be able to get over this monster for sure. That's never a good, that's never a good monster. I, good. I would love to be attacked by a vampire. Because I feel like it would be a more intellectual, psychological fuckery where it's like, okay, I can't just, I'm not just going to like bite you and that's it. I want to break you down first. Wow. Yeah. You're just kind of assuming that of your attacker, though. What if your vamp? What if the vampire attacker? I have, just, like, I have expectations for you. my vampire attackers, <laughs> Lars. Okay, so let me just pitch this to you. Would you okay, change? Okay. Would you change your answer if you were just, um, let's say, you're just uh, you getting off the TTC, you get off the streetcar, and you're just like nonchalantly walking down, right. and then just this guy comes up behind you and ferociously so bites you, you on the were neck were they on the subway with me or like were they on the bus sure. with me yeah it was the driver Ooh, it was the, it was the driver yeah. <gasps> Ooh, i didn't see that coming Ooh, no. okay yeah that element of surprise maybe that's like the opening thing like that that's a good right. opener right unexpected definitely not a werewolf i don't want to because the only way to kill a werewolf like that is that, be, that you would be dying for hours kind of thing like with that I well, they would, hours. kind of eat you, right? Or do they, yeah. do they eat you? Or I don't know. Yeah, they would eat you. Or I think they would. Unless they I mean, wanted to turn you. How how does a vampire turn someone? Is it the same as a, just, sorry, a werewolf? Just, how does a werewolf turn someone? I don't know. Do they? Is a that werewolf a thing? Can turn when someone. a werewolf when a werewolf bites uh, uh, another person, they also turn into a werewolf? See, I don't know how this stuff works. That's why we're doing this today. I know. That's why we need, these to, are, that's why we need to talk about these it. These are life lessons. By the way, right now, I know you're listening and watching this, but uh, we are going to talk about some real life stories. Uh, but we wanted to really cover and deep dive vampires and uh, and zombies today. What are you looking so, at? I know you found something. I like it. There, okay. There is a passive ability in the werewolf skill tree called... Okay. I feel like this is... This is uh, <laughs> this is DD. &D. This is DD. &D. Okay. Uh, it, it is said that humans can be turned into werewolves by having been bitten by another werewolf. Being scratched is a questionable way of becoming a werewolf, but most don't believe in it. However, both of these only work if the werewolf in question is in wolf form. Gotcha. So you can't be a human werewolf. You can't no. just be Michael J. Fox walking around during the day and then go bite a guy. It doesn't do anything. No. no. Uh, and uh, we got to say, James Tubi Tubinator, uh, you are correct. He said, if you survive the attack, you turn into a werewolf. Okay. That, okay. So you have saying. to survive the attack first. Because if, if you die, you die. Right. Yeah. Um, and he also says a vampire can turn a human after three visits draining blood. 
Hmm. Why does it have to be three? Is there like a is it, <laughs> it's a corp, <laughs> comedy it's happens in threes? Rule. That's why. That's part of it. And there's the punch card has just three punch holes, so it's like third visit's uh, free. <laughs> is that first two are th free? The set the third. Mm. Wait, wait a second. Is the Red Cross just a front for vampires? Is that that would be the best thing to do? You'd be like, oh yeah, donate blood. Wink, wink. We're vampires. <laughs> <laughs> donate to the cause. You're like, oh, no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah. Your yes. blood donation will yeah. go directly to vampires in need. Right. They're just <laughs> they're just strapping in next to you and plugging plugging your line into them like yeah. uh, like a straw. Just... Your donation could save a vampire in trouble. Yeah, like the nurse leaves. The nurse leaves, <laughs> and then behind the curtain is just sipping, sipping on on your line of blood. And you, and you pull back the curtain. You're like, hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're not supposed to have that. We're like, don't it's worry like, about it. It's do, too good. It's do you really good. care where the blood's going? Just take your cookie. And, <laughs> just take your cookie and leave, sir. <gasps> oh, I was gonna ask you. Do you get a cookie when you get the vaccine? I didn't. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I want a cookie. No, no cookie for you. Come on. Uh, come on. We are in a global pandemic. There's no time for cookies. <laughs> what do you mean there's no time for cookies? This is exactly the time for cookies. That's the delay on all the vaccines is like there hasn't been. They haven't, it's the, they've had enough vaccines, but they haven't had enough cookies to keep up to it. Well, we need to shut down the clinic today. We don't have any cookies to give people. Well, for fuck's sakes, when are we going to get cookies in? We got, you have the vaccines? Oh, yeah. We got a plethora. <laughs> yeah, Tim Hortons is supplying me all the cookies. Big corporate deal. Oh yeah, what, we were talking about this yesterday. The drive-through vaccine, or uh... I feel that uh, Tim Hortons and/or many other drive-throughs could be great drive-through voting and drive-through uh, anything really vaccinations as well. Mm -hmm. But I think that's where you should vote. You should just go grab your coffee you in a drive-through as well and vote. Oh, and a, Tim, and a Timmy's drive-through? Why not any drive-through? Oh. Just vote, make fucking voting day drive through day. And all right, all right. Those... Can I have a, a double double and uh, oh, uh, I'll vote for liberal or, uh, or yeah. maybe NDP. I'm not sure. I'll have a green tea and a green party. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>